Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. If you're headed out this evening, no real problems at all, but tomorrow, that's when we'll run into some problems as we are expecting that rain, possibly heavy at times. Let's take a look at your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. There could be a pop-up shower or so or two over the next uh, hour or two. But that uh, generally will be the exception rather than the rule. What I'm tracking quiet this evening for tomorrow. We're looking at some rain, some of which could be on the heavy side and it could lead to some localized street flooding. Some thunderstorms are possible and may actually find uh, some uh, localized wind damage as well. And then down the road even farther. Got a cool stretch ahead. I'm not seeing any 80s or 90s down the road. In fact, I'm looking at a fairly cool next weekend. The rest of the month looks to be fairly cool, but there is really one good beach day in the forecast, and we'll talk about that in a second. 73 degrees out there right now, 70 in Newport, upper 60s in Westerly. Beautiful down here in Newport. Got some clouds, we got some sunshine, a gentle breeze. 79 degrees in the northern part of the state in Smithfield with a light wind from the south, and in Westerly, a little bit cooler, 61 degrees with a light wind at about three miles an hour. Lots of clouds passing overhead right now. Have some rain showers off to our west. We're going to be seeing these rain showers slowly work their way into the northeast and kind of uh, uh, gel together into a big area of rain. We'll see some rain showers in our area tomorrow morning. It won't be raining all morning, but then during the afternoon, I think we have a better chance of finding some rain, possibly heavy at times, into the evening hours as a warm front approaches. And then we'll see this cold front right in here work its way into our area tomorrow night. So a one two punch as far as the uh, rainfall goes with the warm front, then the cold front, total rainfall, generally an inch, maybe up to two inches in some spots during the uh, uh, afternoon and evening tomorrow. So let's break it all down overnight tonight. Again, no issues at all. Mostly cloudy skies. Some areas of fog will be developing late overnight. Low temperatures about 64 degrees taking you into tomorrow morning. We're looking at uh, scattered showers, not raining all morning. We're looking at uh, cloudy skies. It'll be humid as well. And then for the afternoon hours, this is when the best chance of any uh, heavier rain will arrive. Maybe a few thunderstorms, winds from the southeast, 10 to 15 miles an hour or so, and you can see that heavy rain here in the depiction. Let's get a look at that live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. So a little bit more detail about your Sunday looking at one to two inches of rain, localized street flooding, some gusty winds could lead to some localized uh, uh, wind damage, some isolated power outages possible. All this rain is gone by uh, Monday at dawn and the rest of Monday looking pretty good. That's the good beach day over the next seven days. Upper 70s to lower 80s as far as the high temperatures go, probably in the 70s at the beaches. Tuesday 81 degrees. Most of the day not so bad. Could be some late day rain showers, some late day showers Wednesday and then look at next Thursday, Friday and Saturday only in the low 70s as far as the temperatures go. But tomorrow worst part of the day probably in the afternoon and evening. All right, TJ, thanks so much. And coming up in Sports Eyewitness News at 6, State Championship Saturday in Rhode Island. We'll have